With modern football nowadays, the traditional sense of the English game is lost. However, there are still some managers that still hold true to these typical English beliefs. The term dinosaur gets thrown around when it comes to these managers. Some of these names may be Sam Allardyce, Roy Hodgson, David Moyes, he's Scottish but let's count it, and of course, Sean Dyche. Now of course, I'm sure you know, I'm a Burnley fan, so my opinion on Sean Dyche is gonna be quite widely biased. Here's a picture of me meeting my dad, of course, and also to throw into the mix. Here's a video of me outside Goodison Park. I irony is incredible here. When we beat them actually 1-0, saying before the game that I will turn gay for Sean Dyche. How are you about Sean Dyche? I will turn gay for Sean Dyche. And I must reiterate, I would. Tell me down below your thoughts on Sean Dyche and the job that he's done at Everton and if you think that he is still the right man. And like, subscribe, all that good stuff and Mazda designs for the best football prints in the market all made by myself called Dyche for 15% off. Let's go. Old school English managers have become a endangered species in English football, especially in the top level. I mean, it almost sounds quite insulting that the entirety of the Premier League's history since 1992, since it was reformed, not a single manager of any Premier League winner has been English. If I was to ask you what is a old school traditional English manager, then you may say something along the lines of physical, long ball, deep block, all about getting it out and send it to the big man basically and not really on about dictating play and playing an expansive or possession based style of football and English managers in recent years are always kind of seen as the the last hope for when teams are struggling for survival that they usually always bring in an English manager to try to be more solid at the back and to really bring some sort of team cohesion. This is what happened to Sean Dyche last year but this isn't what he is. The term dinosaur gets thrown around however I feel like the outside perception of Sean Dyche is different to who the man actually is and what his principles really are. You may call him old fashioned, however, in reality, he just keeps it simple. Ideas of hard work graft is seen as an old fashioned trait nowadays that a manager would want the players to not be on social media too much. And a sample of this is Sean Dyche's code of conduct when he was at Burnley FC. No football comments on social media. In fairness, when he was at Burnley, I don't think any of our players commented or even tweeted at all in a span of seven years. There's of course obvious things like no phones after 2 p.m. on match day or during team meals. But then there's little things that you may say is quite meaningless like no hats, no caps, no hoodies. Even things like you cannot wear earphones when walking off the team bus. I listened to the high performance podcast a couple of, of a year or so ago with Sean Dyche and he went into about how he wants the players to represent not only themselves but also the club in a respectful manner and how that matters to people. And of course as a Burnley fan I know the term legs, hearts, minds is planted all over our training ground that we built with him at the club thanks to him being at the club and doing so well for us and even though of course he's now gone for almost two years now uh, as you can see with Burnley this year despite this still being planted on the ground it's not looking at least on the pitch that standards still maintain. Let's talk about Everton fans and Sean Dyche. The reason why I'm doing this is that there is quite a lot of heat on Sean Dyche right now due to the fact they've not won in the league I believe in eight games which is not great by any means and for a team like Everton great fan base but they've not been great on the pitch for about three years now maybe even just longer than that they've not been good despite spending a lot of money which of course as you can tell by recent news they've been given some deductions which are still being appealed now to this day and even to this day they still have no idea where they stand they've been deducted 10 points they're currently just joint in the relegation zone and they have no idea if they are 17th or they are 12th it's quite a divide there because in reality the heat that he's facing is not really due to his own fault the team even though 
you may say is better than what they look like. I don't believe they really are. They do have a strong core base, but in terms of attacking wise, they're very much limited in terms of how they actually get past players. Their wide players aren't particularly fast and uh, really athletic, but they have got some decent technical ability. Dwight McNeil is a perfect example of that. He's not really known for taking a man on, but he is very good with a whipped cross. And they have got some big men up top, Dominic Cavalluin, Beto, they've got some big men in the box that can hold it up and head it in. Hence why Everton are and Arsenal I believe the best team in the league in terms of set pieces. And again, as a Burnley fan, I've been there and done that. I believe for two, three years, we only survived in the Premier League because of set pieces. We couldn't really score goals outside of it in a consistent manner. And that was part of the reason why it didn't work out in the end. Also, he wasn't really backed by the board. And Similar things can be said by Everton for reasons that's not of his own fault due to the situation that they found themselves in. And Sean Dyche knew that. Sean Dyche is a master of working with a somewhat limited budget. And if he was to say, where would Sean Dyche go after Burnley? I think everyone would say Everton. Everton seems like the perfect fit for Sean Dyche, a typical traditional English, you know, roll your sleeves up and get the hard work done. Grit, hard work, leave it all on the pitch. Things that is desired by all clubs, but especially by a, you know, working class city like Liverpool is. His main motto is minimum requirement is maximum effort, which is really the only expectation he could have for any player at any football club in the world. I spoke to an Evertonian friend of mine about the recent draw against Palace that was seen as a must win game and asked him what's the general feeling towards Sean Dyche right now and the answer was this that they simply feel lost when it comes to actually being given a chance to attack a team that they feel like they are always set up to be the away team and always set up to defend for their lives. His team lineups are always way too defensive when it actually comes to a situation to attack a team. If you're playing away from home, Sean Dyche is the man that you want because you will always stay in a game. You will very rarely ever be battered and that is one positive about the way that we play. However, the main concern is when you are playing at home, playing in sides that you are supposed to go and take the game to and beat, there's no intensity, there's no real hope of any exciting football and it feels like nothing is planned. The only thing that is planned is set pieces. The last time he scored a goal in open play in a league is almost two months ago. Everton of course in late November, early December had a fantastic run of games where they won game after game, beating Newcastle, beating Chelsea. It was a great time to be at Evertonian. Ever since beating Burnley mid-December, they've not won a single game in the league. Why is that? Let's look at the goals that he scored against Palace. Their only goal came from a set piece. Everton beat Spurs. First goal from Harrison came from a set piece. Second goal beat Spurs came from a set piece. Fulham away, no goals. Villa at home, no goals. Wolves away, no goals. City at home, they scored a goal and it was not of a set piece. Fair play. That was the last time they scored a goal in open play in the league. The 27th of December and we are two months later. That's the main concern that Evertonians have. And again, this was something that we also saw at Burnley that our main goals all came from set pieces. And to be fair, we did press. Burnley was actually really good at pressing. I think people didn't give us credit for that, but in the last two, three years, a very good and effective structured pressing team. The only issue was that we just didn't have the technical ability to really make that count most of the time, but we were really good and organized in that fashion. With recent news of Roy Hodgson retiring from football, the likes of David Moyes now looking like he's wanting out by the West Ham fans. It feels like Sean Dyche is becoming the last holder of what was seen as the traditional English managers and I don't think he has much longer left which is a shame. Football has changed, modern football has changed in many ways and how managers and how teams set up is only one part of that. How do you rate Sean Dyche? Do you like him? Do you think that he has what it takes to be at the top of the modern game in English football? Do you think that he simply has to adapt? Of course my opinion on Sean Dyche is biased and I believe, in my honest opinion, that I believe that Sean Dyche is the perfect manager for Everton right now at this current moment when they do need to hold it together. And again, they don't have a great team in terms of pace, athleticism. They aren't a creative team like that. So they've got to make the most out of what they have. And that is what they are doing. They're a very physical side for the most part, but they've not got much pace. They've got some players that are aging a bit. They've got some good experience, but all around they're limited however they've got some strengths and that is what they've been utilizing a lot 
And I don't think Everton will go down unless if they've been given like another point of deduction, which I, I think um, a war would break out if that does happen. If you are an Evertonian, tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. But I can understand the frustration. However, I guess the fact of the matter is that without the point of deduction, you would be 12th. There was a great run of form and it kind of always feels like that isn't too far away. And Everton, no matter how hard you try, they'll always stay up because that's just what happens so I, i'll be having no concerns he will always be seen as a dinosaur but i think internally i think he actually is quite modern however is simply make, making the absolute most of the tools that he's been given and i think that's what any good manager should do so yeah comment down below your thoughts see you next time <laughs>